and welcome to another episode of Idyllic Bay Case. Today we are bringing to you the 5-star Sofitel Singapore Sentosa Resort and Spa. We stayed here right after the recent Singapore Grand Prix, which explains why there is a McLaren parked right in the middle of the hotel lobby. This sprawling resort occupies 27 acres of outdoor spaces with 215 rooms and suites and was our hotel of choice to redeem our complimentary stay using our Echo Plus benefit. We booked this stay all the way back in December last year to ensure we got our room. Stay on for our review of the hotel to see if it was worth the wait. To know more about the Echo Plus program, watch our previous episode, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any episode. We got the 36 square meter lead in luxury room, which the hotel website states as having modern, nature inspired interiors. But I guess the word modern is rather subjective and used quite loosely here. So this is our second time staying at the Sofitel Sentosa Resort and we are staying in the luxury room again. However, it feels a little bit different with a different view altogether. But look at this parquet flooring. It really reminds me of my grandparents' home and <laughs> my grandmother's wallpaper. Alamak. The rustic charm kind of decor doesn't really suit our taste. And on top of that, the bathrobe here doesn't feel luxurious, doesn't look luxurious. I just wish that it's a lot thicker and more plush. In the other closet, you have the safe, the iron, the ironing board. But what I love about this is the pillow menu. And you have six different types of pillows to choose from. So over here, we have the signature mini bar from Sofitel. Um, you can find this a lot in other Sofitel properties. Honestly, it really reminds me of R2-D2 from Star Wars. The funny thing is that I can't open or close this thing. It's fixed and I don't understand how practical this is because I have to bend down to get to my tea and coffee capsules here. Two Nespresso coffee capsules and over here you have the sliding table with a mini bar fridge. Wine glasses over here. As an Echo Gold Elite member, one of the benefits is that you'll get a welcome amenity during your stays. And at the Sofitel Sentosa Resort, they provided us with a bowl of fruits and five macarons. For the welcome drink, they give us two coupons. Each coupon is entitled to two drinks. And let me tell you in another secret, when we book our rooms, we always say that we are celebrating an occasion. And this time around, they provided us with a plate of cake. Bon appetit! The ensuite bathroom has a nice warm dark wood finish with green mosaic tiles. It also came with Balmain bout sized toiletries. Unfortunately, the toilet does not come with any bidet. And unlike our previous stay, this room does not come with a separate shower and bathtub, much to our dismay. This is about to be the most awkward hotel shower. I'm a very tall guy <laughs> and this is not a very comfortable height only because the water pressure is not strong enough and I'm forced to stand right at the edge of the bathtub which is sloping so ah uh, and listen to this. It's even worse with the rain shower, so <laughs> not liking this at all. Luckily, the outdoor spaces of the resort with beautifully manicured gardens made up for our disappointing room. For those who like to have their dead skin being nibbled by hungry little fishies, you can soak your feet here for hours and have silky smooth heels. As for us, well, we don't like the feeling very much. The Sofitel Fitness Centre had sufficient weights and equipment to keep you fit, but we didn't care much for that. Instead, we were really excited to jump into the 33 meter long pool with depth as deep as 2.5 meters, played with the floaties, lounge on the sunbeds, and chill at the bar. 
The Cliff Restaurant next to the pool offers breathtaking views of the south of Sentosa while having a lazy lunch. We dine at the Cliff again for dinner, this time to enjoy their Cali Italian specialties starting off with the grilled octopus and the lamb chop and crab and broccolini pizza as mains. So I'm one of those people who actually hang their clothes in hotel wardrobes and when I started to hang mine, I realized I've only got two usable hangers while the other two is occupied by the bathrobes. So when I took out one of the bathrobes, and guess what? I see holes, if you can see here, and look at the stitching and the hemline. Probably I'll just bring it closer to the light so you can see like all the holes here and there. And I think it's just unacceptable for such quality bathrobes um, in a five-star hotel like this. It's pretty late at night and we wanted to dim the lights because it's way too bright. Look, I think we know that this is a pretty old property. It used to be the Beaufort Hotel and all that. But some things just don't make sense. So we wanted to turn off the lights, right? And then from here, I was like, hey, where are the lights? <laughs> and then it's all the way here. So I actually have to like... <laughs> Uh, okay, so reading, um, I can't even see what this is, oh, there you go, <laughs> I don't know how to turn it back on now, so it's just not the most accessible or ergonomically placed, um, how do I turn this back on, I don't know, I can't see, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, no, just not. <laughs> and let's go through some of the switches here. So these switches are placed right beside the workstation. It's not too bad for this one. They've got two international sockets, one UK socket, a LAN cable, two USB ports, and also an HDMI connection. Breakfast is served at Cuisine, and since we were only Gold Elite tier member, and as the room did not come with breakfast, we didn't bother dining there. For those looking to venture out of the resort, the hotel provides a free shuttle service to Vivo City. For those more adventurous, you can opt for the free bicycle rental provided by the hotel, which brought us to Resorts World Sentosa for breakfast. And we cycled further along the beach to burn off that Starbucks Frappuccino and got to enjoy some sun and sea breeze while whizzing around Sentosa on our nifty bicycles. So in the final two hour stretch of our stay at the Sofitel Singapore Sentosa Resort and Spa and we managed to get a late check out till 2pm so that's and fantastic. Of course, we're spending our last few hours here at the pool because we feel that's really the best part of our stay here. The q is deep and it's warm, so <laughs> you can't get any better than that. It's yeah. 2.5 meters and most hotel pools will only be at 1.2 or 1.4. And we swam at night and it was still warm, amazingly. So Adil was able to jump immediately into the pool. We usually have to like take a good pair of 5-10 minutes before he could acclimatize himself to the temperature of the water, but he immediately jumped in. So let's go through uh, the highlights and some of the not so good things about our stay here. So I think first of all, the room. We're not a big fan of the room, as you can see earlier on. It's a little, uh, it really is kind of outdated. Um, understandably, it is an old hotel, but I think it certainly deserves some kind of refurbishment. I think for me, it's not it's not so much of the interior, but the letdown was really the upkeep of the hotel. I mean, the hole in the rope, in the in the bathrobe is a no-no, and the um, smell of the drainage was really quite unbearable, and I had to put a, a bar soap at, right at the <laughs> sinkhole. I mean, uh, we're not sure whether that's a Sentosa problem because we had the same similar kind of an issue when we stayed at the Oasia Sentosa but then when we moved to the junior suite that wasn't an issue at all 
So yeah. we're not too sure, but I mean, we did call the maintenance and all they did was to come and spray some scent and that was about it. And they didn't follow up. Um, I think it is a common complaint. Yeah, obviously it wasn't a new uh, complaint to them. They were pretty ready, but they probably had no solution to it. So the other things that we love about this uh, resort is that there's always an activity to do. We spend our morning uh, to find breakfast, but on the mountain bike. And I must say that the mountain bike is of really good quality. I mean, we are not cyclists ourselves, but it was super comfortable and easy to ride on it yep. and control the gears. So that was fantastic. And it's rent free. So it's totally free for all guests. And at the back of the pool, there's a small, nice walkway that will lead you directly down to the beach. It's actually a private trail for Sofitel Sentosa uh, guests. So it can directly lead you to the beach. And in terms of activity, we uh, there's also a small cabana over there, which has the foosball and a rather small ping pong table. It's still fun. It's great for the kids and for us too. The restaurants here, uh, so we ate at the cliff, of course, and that was an amazing dinner that we had. Of course, with the 50% off Airport Plus, our huge dinner, which included the octopus appetizer, the lamb chop, and the amazing pizza cost us only about $70 and that was after the 50% off. $67? Sorry, $67. Exactly. Yeah. So we saw a couple of uh, dogs uh, on a leash and I think they have recently converted to a pet friendly uh, hotel. Uh, we saw at least two guests yeah. bringing their corgi and a poodle around the hotel. So, so we did see that it is a new uh, feature that they are allowing pets onto the ground and also into the alfresco restaurants here. Alright, so let's go to our meow reviews. Simply for the facilities in the hotel, um, the kind of activities that's available, the f and uh, that is being offered. Not so much for the room, I'm going to give it three meows out of five. Okay, so. For me, I will give it a slightly lower, uh, 2.5 meows, simply because I would love to have a little bit more comfort during the stay in the room. Okay, so that's all we've got for you for, for this particular resort. And we'll see you again next time at the next location. Bye! Bye! Bye.